Reintroduce subsidy unless Nigerians will not be able to breathe again. As Nigeria approaches its 64th Independence Day on October 1st, Professor Kenneth Azaigwa of Federal University of Duty has called on President Bola to remember to reintroduce the fourth subsidy to ease the economic burden on Nigerians. Speaking in an interview on Sunday in Makodi, the history professor emphasized that reintroducing the subsidy could help revive the struggling economy and mitigate the harsh impact of current policies. As I pointed out that the removal of the forced subsidy marked by Turnbull's declaration that subsidy is gone has led to the depreciation of the Naira and increased hardship for citizens. He stressed that the issue was not with the subsidy itself but with its mismanagement, arguing that no economy can thrive without some form of subsidy, especially in a developing country like Nigeria. We cannot run an economy like ours without subsidies. The subsidy management regime has to be looked at. Electricity tariffs and fuel prices are unreasonably high, and without mitigating these, we will not be able to breathe in Nigeria again, he said. The professor urged the government to reconsider its economic policies, noting that they are meant to improve not only the economy, but the quality of life. He expressed concern over the rapid devaluation of the Naira and its negative impact on daily living. Reflecting on Nigeria's 64th independence, Adaiba acknowledged some incremental progress but lamented the country's failure to fully harness its vast resources for economic transformation. He also called for innovative solutions to address the economic challenges and stressed the need for a more strategic approach to national development. They don't talk this thing now. Shebi Tunumbu say, let the poor breathe. Don't suffocate them. Now, people are saying to Turnbull, let the poor breathe. Everything this man actually stood for when he was not a politician, I mean, when he was not the president. The thing is, whatever is going on in the economy, we cannot survive. We can't survive without subsidies. At least there must be subsidies. Sha. And the thing is, can we at least start developing other resources? Can we expand our income by developing other subsidies? I mean, I say other subsidies, other mineral resources. Can we just stop focusing on oil? We have so much. We have so much resources in this country that if we decide to start harnessing them one after the other, forget this country. Eh? All our people that went out will come back. And they'll come back with people who are wanting to come and do what? Who are wanting to come and, you know, they'll come, they'll, they are going to turn this place to a tour, as in Nigeria to a tourist center. Because I don't understand why Nigeria will have all those beautiful things. And then, we are not making use of it. Do you know it is actually even crime? Do you know if you are giving a gift and they don't make use of that gift, do you know it's a crime? As in, it is a very big crime that they gave you a gift and you cannot actually make use of that particular gift. It is a very, very, very big crime. There's nothing you can say about it. So, everything Tunubu stands for, he don't do it in. He is now going against it. Everything he stood for, everything, oh, here come as I fight democracy. Demo, um, Tunubu is now against you. Our normal freedom of speech. Our normal freedom of gathering to show the government say we they are grieved. Our freedom to protest if they bring policies where we say no favor me and you. Everything. It just be like say all those things were in the acts and scripts. Now in real life, now you in the show now. At 80. Because we don't the near grief. Now but sometimes I go I go look. <laughs> now wow. Now wow. How did Nigerians breathe under Bacha? When we turn diesel to kerosene by adding carbon into diesel for cooking, let's take government complement for the government effort through wet and dry season farming. If our refineries are fully repaired, things will change for better. Stop expecting such when you have debts on ground to settle internationally. I thought past traders would drop off part of their stolen funds in their accounts. I don't blame you now. You say you are saying it just because now your brother. No worry. No worry. There's nothing like you don't expect. See, if you, if I see, if I slap this thing when I detox, they will scatter my brain. What are people saying? Yeah, 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 we have debt. Who incurred the debt? 
No, except they will come and show us proof that what Tony might be spending is his money. The money he shared for the house of a is it house of, is it Senate house? Except they come and tell us that that money where he shared for the way they use by motor. Except they go tell me that from in pocket. The money when you pay for this hash, except him go tell me see that from in pocket. You don't come outside and, and and be raving mad and be saying you know they behave madly when you are behaving mad. You don't come outside and tell people that there is no money. Meanwhile, you keep building a house. You don't come outside and stab your children and be telling them there is no money that you manage. They chase them out from school. They chase them everything. And yet, you are building your house. They build the house they go, which means that not your house, now you better pass your children. You don't do that. See how these guys sound. Eh, he did especially they did that. I don't blame you. Oh. Why why they even join me and Una for this for this for this country? Why they join some of us together? <laughs> Look how this person said it. Eh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, bros, I didn't even say I didn't mean say with the physical. I go deck you, no man. You go carry injury, go your ass. Ha ha. If you want talk, go. If you want talk, make sure say make use of your brains. Talk. The spirit itself bear witness with her. No, we're not talking about Christianity here, Blake. Let him continue deceiving by trying to pay stupid and useless bribe that has nothing to do with the economy boost. A criminal out of government who his way who his way is into still will still remain a criminal in government. He will never be tired of paying bribe everywhere in order to perpetuate evil for selfish gain. That is what he knows how to do best. Pay bribe. And extort. That is why he's extorting you people. That's why you people cannot breathe. And somebody is here telling me, you don't expect him to do that. What you well, your head is not You are living mad. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. You can't be fine. Hmm. Okay. A word of reasoning for the wise. For those who have years to take it and make a good use of the advice. Thank you, Prof. For those who come outside and say he cannot afford, what do you mean he cannot afford to do it? What do you mean he cannot afford to do it? Of what sense is it to enact policies with futuristic results at a time when the entire nation is already grasping for breath? Like, I don't tire. This man wants to bring this country to the 11th hour of his first tenure. Then he suddenly start doing things right, all of his efforts. Okay, he will suddenly start doing things right, like all of his efforts are started producing results, just in a bit to lure the nation into 14 and other recycled hoops second term. Me, I know. I know that is what he's doing. I know that is what he's doing. He wants to weaponize poverty. See, forget. Yeah, at, at this point, make everybody they go. Geographical zone, everybody, just go to your place. I'm telling you because I cannot deal. Sometimes it is very stressful when I hear within people they talk, even with this government. I say, no, 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 no. I can't do this no more. I'm really shame. On. I don't do. Make everybody go to your geographical area. If you want to know to be your head there, make him be your head there. But don't drag him out with all as in no punish us. Make him go there if not in a punishment. When I go, they bear the punishment, they go. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.